Hi, hello, welcome to BS12 Basics. Today we are going to see about fork join in uh, Verilog HDL. Basically, this fork join uh, will not be is interceptable, so we can use this fork join in uh, simulation actually, which means uh, we can use that in uh, test bench. So, uh, in this uh, syntax for uh, fork join is nothing but uh, inside the always uh, fork, and then uh, you can have uh, um, uh, uh, statements. Uh, whatever needs to be executed uh, so it will end with the join actually uh, so inside that uh, all the statements present in the fork and join right uh, it will be executed uh, uh, concurrently in the case of uh, uh, begin and end it will be executed in sequentially that is the main difference between uh, begin and end uh, versus uh, fork join uh, note it down uh, this may be the interview interview question uh, I have simulated this uh, fork join example and I will explain with the waveform. As I mentioned earlier, uh, inside the fork join, uh, all the statements will be executed concurrently. Uh, so, A will go high uh, at the time of 20 nanosecond, B will go high at the time of 40 nanosecond, uh, others, uh, like, uh, others also will go high actually. Uh, in the waveform if you see uh, this is 20 nanosecond right uh, a is going high at the time of 20 nanosecond b is going high at the time of 40 nanosecond c is going high at the time of 60 nanosecond uh, and uh, d is going high uh, 80 nanosecond uh, this is 100 nanosecond uh, this is uh, 120 nanoseconds okay so this is how uh, the uh, fork can join uh, executing all the statements inside the task parallelly now I am going to uh, implement uh, uh, the begin and end statement uh, so that uh, we can compare and check how these differ from uh, begin and end statement. Already I have mentioned that uh, um, all these statements uh, inside the begin and end will be executed sequentially, right? So uh, how it will be executed? So the A uh, will go high after the 20 nanosecond. Then it will again calculate, again it will wait for 40 nanosecond to uh, uh, B becomes high actually. Uh, after that, uh, again it will wait for 60 nanosecond to B C becomes high. Like that it will execute sequentially. Uh, we can check the waveform uh, for that. Uh, see uh, the A uh, is going high after 20 nanosecond uh, and then uh, it will wait for 40 nanosecond uh, so it will be 60 nanosecond right uh, so at the time of 60 nanosecond B is going high uh, after that it will again wait for 60 nanosecond to C going high which means 120 nanosecond so see here 120 nanosecond it is uh, going high after that it will wait for uh, uh, another 80 nanoseconds to uh, D going high so which means uh, this is 200 nanoseconds so like that it will uh, execute sequentially please like and share this video please subscribe this channel for more uh, videos